So here we have the numbers 24 and 240. How are these numbers different? Well, with 24, we have two tens and four units. And with 240, we have two hundreds and four tens. So 24 is a much smaller number than 240. Now we have 624, so 6 hundreds, 2 tens, and 4 units, and 506, so 5 hundreds, no tens, and 6 units. Which number is larger? Well, 624 is greater than 506, because if you're comparing two three-digit numbers, the number which has the most hundreds will always be the larger number. Now we're comparing two numbers with the same number of hundreds. We have 218, so two hundreds, one ten, and eight units. And we have 281, so two hundreds, eight tens, and one unit. So which number is larger? Well, 218 is less than 281, because if you're comparing two three-digit numbers and the number of hundreds is the same, you then look at the number of tens. So here we have eight tens compared to one ten, so 281 is the larger number. Now we have 167, so 100, six tens, seven units, and 163, so 100, six tens, and three units. So here we have the same number of hundreds, the same number of tens, so we can compare the units. Seven is greater than three, so 167 is greater than 163. Now pause the video and see if you can put these numbers into ascending order, so from smallest to largest. We only have one number which is under 100, so 97 is the smallest number. Now we have four three-digit numbers, so we can start by comparing the number of hundreds. We have 9, 1, 7, and 1. So two numbers have 100, so now we need to compare the tens. Here we have 7 tens, and that's smaller than 9 tens. So 179 is our next smallest number. And then we have 197. Now we have a three-digit number with seven hundreds. And we know that will be smaller than any three-digit number with nine hundreds. So 791 is our next smallest. And 971 is the largest number.